Hey what's up everyone, today we're finishing up the final installment of our tempered glass installation series brought to us by Coral, it's for the iPhone 6s and 6s Plus, Ian in here from Udroid Mania and we're going to install it now. Like you may have already seen earlier on the channel, packaging's pretty minimal so we're just going to jump right into it. Inside you'll find the preparation kit along with this protective sleeve that details the specs on the front and the installation instructions on the back. Inside the sleeve there is a dust clean film which you may or may not use, I recommend you do, and the glass screen protector itself, but we'll set that off to the side for now. Ok so here's a look at everything that's included that you're going to need for the install, but before you do the first thing you're going to do is wash your hands. Then go ahead and open your alcohol pad and begin by cleaning your phone. Take your time here and be sure to get everything off the screen because trust me, once the protector's on, it's too late. Oh and even though you washed your hands, let's go ahead and clean our fingertips as well so don't throw away that alcohol pad. Next take the dry cloth and wipe down your phone. For me personally, I like the phone to be completely dry before I move on to the next part so I take my time here. Plus I'm always double checking to make sure I didn't leave any lint behind. Now I think we're ready to take our dust remover and use it to remove any lint, fibers or dust or stuff like that. Do this a couple of times as much as you need to make sure that you get everything off the display. Again trust me, once it's on it's too late. And if you're anything like me then you'll hate when there's things stuck underneath your glass protector. Now let's go ahead and do the install. Be sure to line up the glass protector, take your time and when you're ready go ahead and slowly drop it in place. As you can see here the process is the same whether you have an iPhone 6, a 6s, a 6 plus or a 6 plus s. The important thing here is that when you're finished you use your finger and the squeegee card to press out any bubbles to the edge and then out. Do this as much as you need to until you get all the bubbles out or as many as you can and this next trick I use with every tempered glass install that I do, I take a microfiber cloth and gently rub and press the protector against the display. I find that this helps with the adhesion process. And now with that out of the way, let's take a quick look around. In terms of the install, I found it not very difficult as long as you take your time to line up the protector within the display area of your phone, you shouldn't really have any problems. The only thing I did really notice, and this is more on the iPhone 6s than the 6s Plus, is that there's more of a halo around this one. I don't think that this will go away over time so I thought I'd just point it out. Having this protector on doesn't take away from any of the functionality of your phone, they're both as responsive as ever and 3D touch works just as you'd expect it to. If you've been following my channel or even this series then you'd know that I'm a big fan of tempered glass screen protectors. If you don't have one on your phone then I'd recommend getting this one. They're both $9.99 and the link's down below in case you're interested. Ok so there you have it, you've made a huge investment in your iPhone so why not protect the display? Trust me I've dropped more than a few phones and having this type of protection is invaluable. If you have any questions about the install or the pricing or where you can find this protector again the links down below, leave me a comment and I'll get back to you. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button. As always I'd like to thank you for watching and I'll talk to you in my next one.